Welcome back to WGSO, William Wallace for America here. I'm going to bring Charles Marcella on, who's in live in studio, to talk for about 10 minutes on what's going on with monument stuff. Because as you all guys, guys know, it's not only about protecting monuments, it's about protecting our freedoms. It's about protecting, you know, this, this right here is our ground zero. And if we don't stop monument removal right now, and the and the washing away of history in America, you know we're going to lose our history. And as I explained in my opening monologue, you know then we'll end up having uh, them create their own narratives. All right, I'll give the floor to Charles. Uh, Bill, I want to thank you. And actually, you showed up Saturday when we were sculpturing at Lee Circle. Tommy Bruno is a sculptor. Been in New Orleans. He was a classmate of mine at Jesuit, actually. So it was kind of ironic that you got Tommy and myself and Mitch all in the same class. But Tommy is, is sculpturing a 30-inch version of Robert E. Lee, and he gave a brilliant impromptu speech on the merits of art. He is an artist, and he, he said that uh, all this time, this debate, no one has talked about the artist, the Andrew Doyle, Alexander Doyle, who made it, and, the, and with the, the, everything about the art. So if you're an artist, which New Orleans is known for, losing a, a massive piece of art, he just said he couldn't believe it, and, and on our... Facebook page, PGT Beauregard, we have Thomas's speech. We are creating a YouTube channel because we were so impressed with that to, uh, that it should be seen and other people should hear what an artist has to say about it. And I did see that somebody this week put in a Dallas paper story about art and the fact that the, the value of all the art that is being lost through this uh, movement to cleanse monuments of, of Columbus, right. everybody. Um, I want to thank you for stopping by and, and I'll let the, the listeners know a street car almost ran us over. You know, we were taken out. Almost ran road. you over. I was on sidewalk. You were calm, cool, and collective, saying, Charles, this is the shot you want. The street car coming up to the replica monument. I'm freaking out. But uh, we got a great shot, and that's on our, our our Facebook page as well, with Tommy and the, the sculpture that he's doing. He's an amazing artist. I've seen some of the other detail that he's done. You know, obviously, he's been in business about 40 years. Um, fabulous man with bronze. So that that's one thing I wanted to update with. Tomorrow, Dr. Richard Marksberry will be announcing, and I don't know exactly everything, but he's going to be at 11 o'clock at City, uh, City Park by Beauregard. And I, and I believe what we've been looking at for time here is, did the city own the monument, or did City Park Association own that monument? Well, they don't care about the monument. They certainly did, did not care about all the oak trees that they cut down. You know, and all the oak trees, they said, you know, could and destroyed. But that's odd, odd, odd to me because all yeah. the oak trees in City Park survived. You know, there, there's um, obviously in New Orleans right now, there's a lot of act with. There's a story out today on The Advocate about somebody saying he's never seen review, uh, looking at sewage and water board. That's the problems there. Right. So, so New Orleans in the airport, he talks about the airport fees are about 50% more than other cities. So, like, what, what's going on with the right. money? It's New Orleans. Right. You know, it's unbelievable. So, Dr. Marksberry will be out tomorrow. Look on the news tomorrow night. We'll cover it. And, um, it'll be also at 11 a.m. tomorrow. He's going to update people on, on what his findings are as far as the history of that monument. I, uh, I do want to keep people posted that, interestingly, we cannot get the media to want to cover this, but the cranes that we used to remove the monuments are sitting in a corporate yard across in New Orleans. A corporate it's, yard or a public yard? Same thing. City, a city-owned city, city property. City-owned property. So the cranes that were removed the monuments are owned by the city, you're saying, because they're on city property. Are they being, they're being polite and storing them for somebody. But cranes rent for about 400 bucks a day. So why they're sitting there not being used, I don't know. And why WWL, WDSU, Fox, why these guys haven't decided to send out a reporter with a, a cameraman and, and do that, I can't figure that out either because it right. seemed like they would want to know how did, did the city, why does the city store in these cranes? Is there a liability? Did they buy them? Were they given to the city? Um, what's the story with the fact that we got these two cranes sitting there getting rained on and, and you know, right. we weathering? And that's the yard where all the police vehicles were stored after Katrina before they got scrapped. Wow. So what's the story there? And just the lack of transparency. Why the city council doesn't call, put it on an agenda and say, hey, we want to know why we got these cranes. Yeah, sitting. exactly. You know, they, because, they're, they're, because they're a part of the problem. Yes. All right. So uh, another big deal is this Saturday, people should know this. It's September 9th. September 9th, 1957, 60 years ago, Eisenhower passed, signed the, the Civil Rights Act of 1957. Most people think LBJ did it in 64. 
The real reality is, is the Republicans and Eisenhower pushed it through in 57, and LBG, LBJ tried this to stall it by sending it to committees and all. They still got it passed, and it was to try to end the polling tax on blacks and other things to increase voter participation. It was the first piece of legislation in 82 years that act. Wow. And we're going to talk about that. At, at, we meet at 9 a.m. Saturday at Robert E. Lee Circle, and that will go to about 11 o'clock where Tommy's going to be sculpturing. Uh, I do want to say that I saw this week Robert E. Lee Jr., uh, Robert W. Lee Jr., the, the great nephew of um, Robert E. Lee, was on MTV Awards, criticizing his, his uncle, saying his uncle had tried to overthrow the government. Lee was actually the, the superintendent of West Point at the time Virginia voted to get out, yeah. and he'd been there, been with the military for 30 years. He's an amazing man, the dean of a school of engineers, the best engineering school in the country at the time, really for civil engineering. The man who saved St. Louis. The man who saved St. Louis. And his, his nephew is saying he tried to overthrow the government. All he did was say, I'm not going to do this. More proof that liberals will sell out their soul and their own family. Right. And real quick, what I want to hit on too is our t-shirts are out. We're going to place another order. If anybody's looking for t-shirts, they have a look at us. Um, show this on our Facebook page right now. We're going to place an order for these. We have uh, yard signs out that we're doing. And... Um, we're on YouTube, we have a video channel now where Tommy's video and some of the work we've done here, Bill, with you, we yep. now put so people can, can look back and see it on YouTube. And our petition is scheduled to be on the November 2018 ballot. We got 4,300 signatures. It doesn't expire, so we're shooting for that November 18 ballot because we need about six months in advance to make it success. Awesome. Thank you, Bill. Awesome. Thank you very much for coming on there tonight, Charles. Everybody else, hang tight. We got a break coming up here. And after that, more of William Wallace for America on WGSO. Perfect. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this man is Wallace for America. And the biggest thing he's realized early on, he's the guy nationwide that realized what happens in New Orleans with the monuments is nationwide affecting the whole nation. We've seen it in L.A., that's right. Charlottesville, Dallas, every place. He predicted it, everybody. He predicted it. I love you. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Thank you, man. victory for a Polaris slingshot. To get yours or just see one, go to GSO.com. Call 888 888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-